Or the crucibles here. Holy shit, she did it. This is the Admiral. We've got reports that someone made it to the Citadel. We need to give them time to get those arms open. Converge on the crucible. Protect it at all costs. The keepers. What are you guys doing? Oh my god. Is he in the crucible too? Oops. In the citadel? Anderson. Oh, he's a freezer. You up here too? I followed you up. But we didn't come out in the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? Horrifying. <clears throat> How are the keepers doing? Feel like death, but I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. The hell's the keeper doing? Makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Oh. Sure. They round them up on Earth. And the that makes sense. Here to be processed. God damn abomination. Uh, I'm gonna keep moving. The sooner we blow these bastards back to hell, the better. The tubes don't go on forever. But the but keepers must be processing it. Yeah. It doesn't look like any part of the citadel I've been to. Little shits. Okay, fine. Whoa. Anderson. One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a chasm here. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. Ah, uh, this is horrifying. Ugh. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Anderson? Damn it. Like a huge room up ahead. Are these cannons? Anderson. Shepard. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. What have you? I warned you. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Looks like you've been controlled, buddy. It's a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might I actually see that happening in real life. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Let me have my hand on the mouse, <laughs> just in case. Only if we can harness their ability to control... No, they, they. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power, you shouldn't be able to use. I don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Show me because we're you controlling it. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty, the Crucible will allow me to control them. And then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. <sighs> I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers My dude, is the answer? just look at yourself, if man. The Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them, but I can! Show me. Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself. You're indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You sacrifice too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You. You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I oh my that. god. I cannot choose this option. Oh no! No! Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is the first time I've never been able to choose an option. Oh, that's not good. You know what? You're not yourself anymore. They've taken you. No! You're the one who failed. Okay, we're good. That was scary.
Anderson. It's open. Let's go. There. Earth. I wish you could see it like I do, Shep. It's um It really does love the planet, but Jesus Christ, dude. Don't be in Elit elitist about it. One of my biggest concerns, and this is just like not really pushing it, but like if it's when when space exploration does become a thing, sort of like this, and we do find alien life out there, I am so worried because if we like have problems with each other, if we like. <laughs> If we're like super racist with each other, we don't really like each other, how do you think we're gonna react with aliens? Not gonna go well. Ten seconds to contact. That's it. The crucible is docked. Okay, now what? Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. Thank you, earned a rest. Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, child. You did good. I'm proud of you. He's so dead. I did shoot him. Shepard? Commander? I, uh... What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crucible's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard. I don't see. I'm not, not sure how to. Oh boy. Commander. Oh boy. What? Where am I? 
The Citadel. It's my home. AI? Who are you? I am the Catalyst. Oh. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. I am the no. Citadel. Oh. The Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Excuse me? The solution to what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we, we found, found a way to, to stop that, that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. Brothers. We helped them ascend, so they could make way for new life. Storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without, Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. But in this, in this cycle, at least, it's been proven that the synthetics can work with the organics. I mean, the quarries and the geth. He said, oh, the, the, the creator will always rebel against the creator. I mean, yes, that happened with the Quarians, even though technically it was the Quarians' fault. But they're on friendly terms now. And it is proof that we can be friends. Anybody else that I'm maybe missing? Nah, I think it's just a guess. I don't know, man. You said you're the catalyst, but what are you? A construct, an intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. So you're just an AI. In as much as you are just an animal. I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? Leviathans? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to no. oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict. So a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. I met your creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expected. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into Harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave yeah. them form. Yeah, well, we knew this. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Yes, we knew this. Leviathan. Yes, they created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. 
They must, by definition, surpass their creators. Which is what happened with the Geth. The result is conflict, destruction, Which chaos. is not true, because now they're companions. Inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. Oh, oh those not making any sense. There's new life all the time growing. I'm sure there's some planet out there that has like a race that is starting to evolve. Just like how it was when the Proteans when the humans were evolving. What do you know about the crucible? The device you refer to as the crucible is little more than a power source. However, in combination with the citadel and the relays. It is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You were Multiple not races. And there is not enough time to explain. It was improved over the race, over the, over the cycles. Several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design yeah. has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. But you're taking away our future. Without future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Okay. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. <laughs> what do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities. But I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. Okay. But be warned, others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Nope, that's a big no. Even you are partly synthetic. Yeah, no, that's not happening. That means Edie or the Geth will be screwed. Maybe the Quarians? They're not synthetic. But they do need the technology to live. And I'm assuming anybody who is on a ship, maybe the ships will be deactivated. Which means they would die too. Oh, hell no. What exactly? I am not destroying the squad. Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. Okay. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. Oh? 
You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. Okay. So the elusive man was right after all. Uh. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already oh, controlled Shepherd him. Shepard will become the child. I can. I guess. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Okay. A little bit better. Your to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. Okay, that sounds way better than destroying all synthetic. But the Reapers Sacrifice will one, everybody else is okay. Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. That sounds even better. A Reaper army. There is another solution. Oh. Okay. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. That's true. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of. So it's basically what Edie has done it is the ideal in this game. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past. Oh man. But it has always failed. Why? Because the organics were not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. So in one I destroy the Reapers, and all synthetics will die. We'll be pushed back a couple a couple years, because we will have to fix everything back up. As assuming technology will keep working. I'm gonna go with yes, it will keep working, but everything will break if I destroy the Reapers. Then option two, Shepard dies, and only Shepard. And apparently Shepard will be able to control the Reapers and just hopefully make them do whatever they do. But I'm afraid of that option because what happens if Shepard just becomes like that kid and, and start just, you know, their humanity is fully gone and it's a full on AI that is just thinking things instead of feeling. I'm a bit, uh, even though they have the, supposedly it's gonna keep the memories, it's gonna know, you know, about the humans and whatnot. I'm afraid that they would become just a machine with a protocol to follow. I'm not too sure. And synthesis would be Shepard adding the energy, I'm guessing also Shepard dying, but it would instead force everybody in the galaxy to become half synthetic and the synthetics become half organic i think that's what i'm getting from this i don't know how that's gonna work mm. but I, honestly i feel like that seems to be the best bet because if humans become synthetics and synthetics become organic then the reapers have no reason to do any harvesting I don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can yeah, that's you true. And they're already using them? technology, integrating technology in them. The cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you okay. have to choose. I know what to choose. 
I've made my choice. Uh, let's just walk forward. Uh, wait. Which child? Which path is which? Child. I don't know which path is which. What is this red? I think this is destruction. But like, hello? Dude, I don't know which path. I want to do synthesis just in case I fuck it up. I don't like. Dude, which way is the right way? Is it this way? Is it that way? Dude, oh my god. I feel like the middle would be the right choice. Dude, I don't know which way is the right way. Fuck. Child? Is it that way? Nah, that looks bad. Dude, this better be synthesis, I swear to god, if I go... I should have at least marked it. I don't want to mess it up. When was the last time that I saved? Shit. What is this? You're not telling me. Can I back it up? I don't want to... This doesn't say synthesis, it says control. Which is... The other option where Shepard dies. I cannot move anymore. Fuck. Which ending is this? God damn it! I will reload. Actually, I will, I will out F4 out of here. I don't know which one I chose. I still want to know.
Who am I? All the mass relays are getting destroyed. Oh no. I'm still concerned about the ending that I chose. <laughs> I don't know if I did the one that I wanted. It's okay. Where's everybody else? You better not show me credits. Eternal. Infinite. Immortal. That should have been the reward from the freaking arena. The woman I was used these words. But only now do I truly understand them. And only now do I understand... I, I did not choose synthesis. Sacrifice. Fuck. Through her death, I was created. Through my birth, her thoughts are freed. They guide me now. Give me reason. Direction. Just as she gave direction to the ones who followed her. The ones who helped her achieve her purpose. Now my purpose. The body seems okay. The students are okay. Aww. To give the many hope for a future. To ensure that all have a voice in their future. Oh, we need Hogan. The woman I was knew that she could only achieve this by becoming something greater. There is power in control. Okay, so the get are okay. There is wisdom. In harnessing the strengths of your enemy. I 
will rebuild what the many have lost. I will create a future with limitless possibilities. I will protect and sustain. I will act as guardian for the many. Okay. And throughout it all, I will never forget. I will remember the ones who sacrificed themselves. So that the many could survive. Oh, he did die. Unfortunate. Okay, that's not a too bad of an ending. It sounds like I hope. I hope that, I just hope that Shepard doesn't intervene when something's happening that she doesn't like. Just just let the just let the races do their thing. Don't become like the other child, like the child catalyst. I wonder if they know. And I will watch over the ones who live on. Those who carry the memory of the woman I once was. The woman who gave up her life to become the one who could save the many. Hmm. You know what? I'm not mad. That's actually a pretty good ending. I am curious about the synthesis ending, though. That's the one that I wanted to pick. But this isn't bad. My concern was that Shepard becoming like the master AI, let's call it. She would become like like the catalyst. But she would try to solve things for every other race. But if she just stays back and it's just about protecting as long as you know I, I would think that a war will break between the races again so long as she just stays back and just helps you know rebuilding as it was shown and everything else then it should be fine it'll be okay now i'm sad this game was amazing i highly doubt that i might play something as amazing as this this was really, really good. And it's not just Mass Effect 3, I'm talking about all three of them combined. Just the whole concept of... I gotta, I gotta look it up. There's gotta be all the games that follow this concept, right? Like the concept of, oh, whatever you do in the first game carries over to the second game, and then whatever happens in the second game carries over in the second game and the first game carries over to the third game and so on and so forth. I know Dragon Age kind of does it, but it wasn't. You don't play as the same character. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. E? It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Wow. I'm very curious to know if the companions knew what happened. Or if they just think that she just died. 
Congratulations! Your man the Shepherd has become a legend, and from here you can continue to build a legend. Being a long, long journey for Shepherd and for the team here at Bioware, and like Shepherd, we can have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began as a vision of a small team, but over the years it has grown. The growth has been fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of our player community. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to sharing further adventures with you in the Mass Effect universe. This is great. Good job, Bioware. Your games are awesome. What the fuck? Hello? Hey, look, hey, it's just okay. What happened? Oh. Before the ending. I see. Okay, let's ignore that. Shepard is gone. Okay, well that's it. However, before I quit the stream, I want to see something. Because I am aware that they are making a brand new Mass Effect. I am also aware that there's another Mass Effect game out there that apparently a lot of people don't like. Personally, because I know it doesn't feature... I did look it up. It doesn't feature Shepard. It doesn't feature any of the companions. It, it's like a, it's, it's its own unique story. I'm not really... I'm not in a hurry to play it. But I will play it at some point just because it's freaking Mass Effect. So of course I'm going to play it. Um, Let me see something. I want to see the trailer for the new Mass Effect. And it's officially by Mass Effect, so this is the one. No, thank you. I would never pay for that. How is this gonna go? Because technically Shepard is dead in my playthrough. So if this game allows the import of a save, what the fudge am I gonna be playing as? Miranda brings back a human shepherd? I know that sound. Liara. Still made by Bioware. Okay. Who was behind Liara? That looks like a Krogan. Salarian. Not quite sure of the one in the middle. A human? And that is not the Normandy. Hmm. Okay. I've been delaying looking stuff up about it just because I didn't want to run into some kind of spoiler. Does she have a release date? That is true, that's how you can live for thousands of years. Oh, okay, no, this is just, this was, I think that was before the trailer. Oh my God, I'm gonna be ancient to 2029. I mean, shoot, when, you, when the day gets announced, I'm definitely going to be replaying Mass Effect, for sure. I'll try adding insanity. And I'll just do something I'm going, I, I will regret. And I will do full-blown Renegade. No matter what the question is, no matter what the decision is, it will be full-blown Renegade. Just so I can see how that works. Jesus Christ, that's a long... Why don't they announce a game so freaking early if it's gonna take freaking years for it to show up?
Thank you.